Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play the Pendulum Waltz. <laughs> This tune was a request from Tim Brown, and Tim, you've been waiting quite a while. Uh, thank you for being patient. Uh, it was written by Bill Guest, a Canadian fiddler, and it appears in a book of 100 Favourite Fiddle Tunes, published by Mel Bay. And I believe in that there is a harmony to this, uh, which I'm sure is very nice. I've not actually heard it. Um, I'm going to give you two versions of the tune. Uh, one is the very basic version, just the notes, and the second one is a little bit augmented with some double stops and uh, a little bit of variation. So we'll start off with the basic tune. I'll go once all the way through and um, then we'll uh, look at some variations. Uh, because this is quite a steady tune, we're going to play it from the outset with the chords behind it. Now, it's all pretty easy apart from um, towards the end of the B section, there's some third position. So, let me just show you how I would do that. Um, starting on bar 54. So, what I'm doing is uh, first position, and then that second finger is going to slide up with the third finger. So, I'm going to have my third and second both down there. And 
then down to first position. Yeah, the best thing to do um, if you're not confident with third position is simply to take that bit down an octave. back up to the uh, the higher octave so uh, no one would even notice if that happened <laughs> now we're going to go through it again um, but this time with some of the techniques that you might use if this was being made into a contest tune so we're going to have double stops and we're going to have some uh, ornaments um, and we're going to start off with a very fancy double stop which I think I got from the Wednesday Night Waltz, but I can't absolutely remember. And that is um, that one. So we're starting off with the first finger in um, on the D note in third position, and the third finger below that on the B note. So that's one over three. And then you bring them both towards one another. And then apart again and you try and slide a little bit from one to the other and then down to first position so that's a really nice little trick um, and it's following the chords from G to C sharp diminish um, then in the second line we go to so that's a um, F sharp note with a A drone above it, and that's one over three. And we're doing a hammer on, and there's quite a few of these. So, uh, first finger below the second finger, same thing there, uh, first finger hammer on, another hammer on. C sharp with an A above it, then for the next chord, an F sharp with a C below it, and a G with a B below it. Uh, moving on, we've got F chord is an F with an A above it. are variations I came up with fairly quickly. I'm sure there are much better uh, Texas style variations which you could put on this. Just a question of how much um, work you want to put into it. Uh, so we'll play, I'll play you out with uh, all the way around this version um, with the backing. If you would like a copy of the dots then do subscribe and send me an email and I will send you a copy and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.